Mark Stein is an author and columnist, and he joins us tonight. So, Mark, look, I'm not a conspiracy nut at all, and I'm desperately hoping the authorities will prevent me from forming my own conspiracies to explain what is becoming increasingly inexplicable. But it looks like that interview you just saw, and I'm putting air quotes around the word interview, was managed by MGM, and that's why they put him on Ellen's show. Does that give you confidence that the public, which has a right to understand what happened, is learning anything meaningful about this story? No, and I'm not a conspiracy nut either, uh, but you're entitled to be one on this, Tucker, because uh, whether by intention or design, nothing is proceeding normally in this case, yes. up to the absurdity where someone says, I'm only going to give one interview uh, and uh, I'm going to give it to Ellen DeGeneres. And Ellen... <laughs> exactly. Ellen and I've got nothing against. I've got nothing against. I've got nothing against Ellen. Oh, uh, I don't that's, either. That, that, uh, I, uh, but this, but it's, it seems very a weird choice. And as you say, uh, she, she manages to say, "Well, you are a true hero uh, because by getting shot in the leg, you saved so many lives." That's not what happened. That was the old narrative. Uh, no, uh, the old narr exactly. The old narrative was that he interrupted the, the gunfire, took a shot in the leg, and brought the massacre to a halt. And then the sheriff said, oh, no, 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 sorry, is that what I said? No, absolutely sorry, I got things the wrong way round. Actually, uh, Mr. Campos got there before the mass shooting started, and then uh, apparently the shooter took, be between shooting Mr. Campos in the leg, there was then a six-minute delay before he started massacring everybody, during which time he had a nice cup of tea or called down to room service or whatever he did. And then the hotel said, no, no, that's not what happened. There's a third timeline. And then everybody does the obvious and says, well, why don't we ask Mr. Campos what happened? And then they say suddenly, oh, no, he's disappeared. He's gone now. He's off the scene. No one's seen him for a week. And then he comes back and he's on the Ellen DeGeneres show. And uh, that's how conspiracy theories start, and everybody is entitled to take a flyer on whatever conspiracy theory they want in this case, because for whatever reason, officialdom and Mandalay Bay and the Ellen DeGeneres show have muddied the waters to total impenetrability now. Well, that's exactly, I think it's so nicely put, because it's clear, and by the way, Simply because MGM managed this interview doesn't mean that it's inaccurate or that, you know, I'm not attacking MGM, but I also no. think it was managed. Clearly, it was managed. Right. And so that, and they're under a ton of legal pressure because the usual ambulance chasers are circling the hotel looking for payouts. And so that suggests that, like, he's under a lot of pressure to give a specific storyline that may not be that useful in understanding what actually happened. Well, but, but there's other issues here, Tucker, because Las Vegas is one of the most surveilled cities on Earth. Yes. Because all these big casino resort owners want to know what people are doing in the building from every conceivable angle. So even before we got the big panopticon post-9-11 security state, uh, in Vegas they had cameras everywhere linked to some uh, back office where everybody's looking at what you're doing. Uh, and what's interesting to me is that if, say, uh, there's some terrorist thing that goes on in London or Paris or Brussels or wherever, within a couple... Of, take the Brussels airport bombing is a very good thing. These guys pull some stunt at the Brussels airport, kill a bunch of people. Within 24 hours, you've got the closed-circuit television picture showing the killer moving through the airport concourse. Here, Mandalay Bay has not released any footage, uh, any shots of this guy. The couple of pictures, even of the hotel room door, are all uh, are actually extremely limited. If 200 yes. rounds did indeed come through this door, that must be the best built <laughs> hotel room door in the history of <laughs> hotel exactly, rooms. It's exactly uh, right. And, and, and so, uh, obviously, I might be wrong. There might be an explanation for that. Uh, the, the bullet, he might not have been a very good shot, so he was actually uh, firing through the, uh, the, the cheap sheetrock to the side of the door. I don't know. But the fact is that Mandalay Bay has not done what Brussels Airport did in that terrorist attack. No, and it's, so it's totally right. And so nobody actually knows what this guy was doing. There's dishonesty in here somewhere. I don't know what it adds up to. Quickly, just to prove I'm not a conspiracy, not I want to ask you what the JFK assassination. So it's almost it was 54 years
years ago next month, a long time ago, and we're about to get, as released by law, the final tranche of papers from the investigation into uh, the murder. The CIA is apparently arguing those papers should be held for another 25 years, which would bring the total up to almost 80 years that they're under yeah. wrap from public view. Right. What could be the justification for that? No, and again, uh, you're entitled to be a conspiracy nut on this one, too. And uh, it makes you wonder when uh, Donald Trump, in one of his more inventive moves, uh, placed Ted Cruz's father on the grassy knoll that day in the late stages of the, uh, the presidential prim <laughs> primary campaign, uh, <laughs> makes you wonder, well, it seemed a little crazy at the time, but now you look at the fact that they're trying to sit on this stuff for another... <laughs> You know, as I think, we, we all know uh, Ted Cruz was born in Alberta. Was his father <laughs> I'm operating, gonna, I'm gonna have to stop operating there, on the instructions of the Canadian government? Have we got some Canadian deep sleeper operation going on here? <laughs> that was uh, my personal you know, favorite just to go, moment. Just, oh, whole campaign. We're out of time, unfortunately. More conspiracy. Thank you, Mark. That was great. Thanks a lot, Tucker.